Say less here. What's going on, everyone? All right, let's chop it up again. Y'all know when I come back, I typically come back with a different perspective. I normally don't look at things the way everyone else does, but that's just me. I feel as if there are a lot of people who are kind of outside the matrix and a lot of people who are stuck in it, man. There are, there are people who are going to be sheeps and there are people who are going to be able to overcome that. So what am I talking about, man? This whole thing going on with Deontay Wilder and the amount of um, American fighters and media members, one after one, pretty much coming on, downing Wilder, downing his skill sets, and pretty much undermining him, right? Undermining him. I think that this is great. I'm happy at Teddy Atlas. I'm happy um, with what Andre Ward is saying. I'm happy with Timothy Bradley is saying. I think it's all great. The reason I think it's all great, right, is because, one, if you kind of look back in history, now, of course, I have to say this for people with the small minds who would want to get distracted. Yes, um, Deontay Ward is not Muhammad Ali. But if you notice the thing about great people, people who kind of did things that was outside of the norm or new or built a legacy for themselves, more often than not, on the way up, a lot of people are trying to pull them down or minimize everything that they did. It's just the truth. It's it just what it is. They typically had more people against them than for them. You know, so that's just kind of the historical point of view. Because, yes, we look back favorably on uh, Muhammad Ali, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. But remember, during that time period, what they were going through, a lot more people was against them than for them. We really have to kind of remember that in, like before we really kind of get into it. Now, from a even more of a basic standpoint to let's bring in the, you know, the whole social activism. Let, let, let's put that aside. I do bring up, uh, I still think Walter's within that realm because he does speak for his people, but he's not a social activist like a, um, a Martin Luther King, right? But let's dumb it down. Even a Floyd Mayweather. I'm not a fan of Floyd, especially not now anymore as time went on. Pretty much towards the end of Floyd's career, I just, I didn't like him as a person. But for what he did in the ring, come on, man. Dude is, um, dude is special. When you look at Floyd, again, most of his career, a lot more people were against him than for them. And now he built a story, a legacy that you can't take away. Why he's still fighting, I don't know. That's a whole different thing. But as far as what he did in boxing, you can't take that away from him. The money he made, the way he was able to provide for his family, and the way he had an impact on the sport as a whole and a generation of new and upcoming fighters, you can't take that away from Floyd. But we have to remember, while Floyd was coming up, there was a lot more people against Floyd than there were that people that was for him. That's what it is, especially within the American media, right? Same thing with Andre Ward. One of the issues that um, the American people, he had conversation about this as well, where not a lot of people, you know, was backing him, doubting him, and he had to overcome and he triumphed and he had a great story. So I love, I love guys, right? who literally struggled. Ward even came out and said when he went to the UK, he got way more love from the UK media than he did the American media. I love the fact that now that these guys are in position to break the mold, to not down another American fighter the way that they've been down their whole career and pretty much root for the foreigner, that they're doing the exact same thing. I love it. They're doing the exact same thing people did um, to them throughout their careers and they're doing it to Wilder. And I love it, man. The reason I love it and I love that story, Wilder's going to be the one that's going to break the mold right? He's going to be the one that's not going to turn back, complain about what people have um, been doing to him, then get in the same position and do the same thing, do the same song and dance, do the same chuck and job. He's not going to do it because he's not like them. Mind you, again, people can, you can say what you want, but everything I'm saying is factual. Everything I say is state is facts. Floyd had a lot more people against him than he did for him, along with Andre Ward. They both spoke about how the American um, media, they represented America, uh, you know, Ward a gold medalist. Uh, I forgot they, they did Floyd win a medal. I think he won the won the bronze, but he was robbed. You know they both uh represent their country in the Olympics like Wilder did. They both going up for whatever reason had the media against them. Um, it was a thing where they were too technical, too boring. You know they pretty much wasn't they weren't exciting enough. You know that was the knock against them over and over again. Now you have a guy in Wilder who's not technical, but who is exciting. You know. Pretty much giving them um, the media, quote unquote, what they wanted. But now they're downing him for not being technical enough. So that kind of shows you right then and there that there's never a right answer. But I digress, ladies and gentlemen. And for them to see, right, 
be in a position where they minimize all their accomplishments, right? And only focus on the negative. For them to kind of flip around and do the same thing to someone else and then root for another foreigner, right, wrong, left, right. It's pretty sad to see, man. It, it is, but the beauty of it is that it makes a great and compelling story. And that matters, man. This shit right here, I'm going to call it now what's going on with Deontay Wilder. It's something that you're going to be able to make a movie about. This is something the likes of which I've never seen a universal, even guys that went through exactly what he went through, push to limit this man. It's amazing. And to the point where they're omitting logic. It's not just, oh, man, he's not skillful or whatever the case may be. That's fine. You know, that's okay. Okay, right? It's a, while there's out here on a campaign saying nothing else, we want a rematch. And then you got guys like Ward and Brady talking about some, they're not sure if he really wants to fight Tyson Fury. I'm like, wow i mean that's amazing like th that is amazing to see where you the guy has done something that they wouldn't do right because after ward after a lot of, a lot of not 95 percent of the fighters what do they do Controver ma controversial matchup something like didn't go their way they gave immediate rematches ward and mayweather did but they didn't want to talk to anybody they just went away they went away um, they went spend time with their families and yada yada, and they were gone. Left us like you know in limbo for the most part. What they were gonna do? Water didn't do that. Immediately afterwards, everywhere continuing to promote to um, to promote the sport of boxing and being exemplary, just being literally what the sport needs. Not shying away from criticism, but addressing it. Not being too big to give the responses despite the amount of people shitting him. But you know what? Like I'm telling y'all, this makes a better story and this makes the rematch more compelling because essentially Wilder has his fan base and that is it. You know what I mean? It's literally the media, um, a, a lot of black American fighters and it's essentially everyone against him. So when he comes back and does what I believe he's going to do to Fury, it's going to be that much better of a story man it's gonna add to his legacy it's gonna do something that these guys because of the position that they took they have to swallow a lot of that bullshit and it's gonna be even worse right because they're gonna know as they're swallowing that hard pill that this is the same thing that they force other people to swallow so it's gonna be a lot of retribution a lot of vindication with this story so what i want i want more guys i want more um american um media members to really go out and stand against uh, against this man really down wilder scream it to the top of your lungs root for the foreigner as hard as you can because i'm gonna do something right i'm gonna take control of the of this narrative and i'm gonna start it for wilder fans is it's literally going to be Wilder versus the world. And to see a man overcome that, overcome his peers, overcome guys that literally were talking about how, as American fighters, they don't get the respect they deserve. They don't get the love from the American fans. For them to sit down in the first time they get, on um, the first chance they get to change that mold, they down another American fighter. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a great story. Again, I'm really holding on to this whole thing with the movie because it's just interesting. It's a really amazing story that I would love to see. But that's my thoughts on the situation, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, about what's going on. Is it bad? Is it good? You know, just give me your thoughts, man. It's your boy, Say Less. I'm out. Say Less here.